that they worship Allah ala harf, they worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala based on conditions, situations. If everything's going good, they're going to worship Allah azza wa jal. The least amount of difficulty that comes, the first thing that goes through the biha is something of Islam. Right? The first thing they slaughter is something for Islam. I'm sick today, I can't go to class. First thing they drop is something from Islam. I'll go to work because I have to, but I can't go to class to learn. Situation happens, I can't read the Quran today. But I have to watch the news, I have to know what's going on in the world. The first thing that gets dropped is something to do with the deen of Allah. The person sees the deen of Allah is cheap, can be dropped easily. This question, this person doesn't understand Allah Azza wa Jal subhanahu wa ta'ala in that he may feel happy that Allah may have removed the calamity, but then he goes back to the situation again. The scholars of Islam said regarding the ayat, the ayat of Allah Azza wa Jal, أَفَأَمِنُوا مَكْرَ Allah. Have they become secure of the plan of Allah Azza wa Jal? And that is when a person continues to get the blessings of Allah Azza wa Jal, while he continues to sin and disobey Allah Subhanahu wa Ta'ala. That means that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is planning against him, planning for his destruction. As Allah Azza wa Jal said, سَنَسْتَدْرِجُهُمْ مِنْ حَيْثُ لَا يَعْلَمُونَ وَأُمْلِي لَهُمْ إِنَّ كَيْدِ مَتِينَ Where Allah Azza wa Jal said, we, are gra- we will gradually seize him from avenues he doesn't know. وَأُمْلِي لَهُمْ And we are plotting against him. إِنَّ كَيْدِ مَتِينَ my planning is strong. The planning is what? He disobeys Allah Azza wa Jal while Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala still gives him risk, gives him wealth, gives him provisions. So he doesn't make tawbah, but he doesn't repent, he doesn't change. He thinks Allah is pleased with him. And he becomes lazy. And he remains in that state until he dies. But here Allah Azza wa Jal is giving him the opportunity to wake up. He gives him a calamity. That calamity should be used to wake up. He returns back to the sin. Allah gives him another calamity. As the Prophet Muhammad said, if he wants to do, if he wants to do good to someone, he afflicts him. He gets an affliction. That affliction is there to wake the person up. But after getting the calamity over and over again, if the person doesn't wake up, then the person is destroying himself. That calamity should be used to return to Allah Azza wa Jal subhanahu wa ta'ala. The knowledge continues.